Hey everyone, it's Liam Gaming here with another tutorial on The Witcher 3. This time it's on Alchemy, which you can find in your main menu just by hitting the little lined button icon thing to the right of the Xbox X lit up button. I don't even know what that button is, I really should find out. <laughs> um, but here it is, and there's Alchemy. So if we click Alchemy, now Alchemy is where you can create all manner of wonderful stuff throughout the game. You can create dyes, potions, decoctions, um, and all various weird and wonderful stuff, oils, and um, as you run out of stuff to form, then they will um, disappear off of here. Also bombs as well. So I'm pretty high up. I'm level 52, and I've made an awful lot of stuff, which I will explain to you about in a minute. But I want to talk to you about how you create these weird and wonderful things um, as you go through the game and why they are useful. So first thing I want to talk to you about quickly, um, if we have a look in our inventory, our oils, potions and bombs. So these are all made using the alchemy. Um, you only have to make the component once and then you can use it again and again um, with the oils. Um, or, and the potions, um, if you meditate and you've got uh, alcohol in there, they will replenish when you meditate. And I think that's the same case with the bombs as well. So everything will replenish every time you meditate. Um, so you can see I've made all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff here. And they are formed in the way that I'm going to show you in alchemy in a moment. But they make quite an effect on the characters. Let's just explain quickly what each thing does. So oils are really useful to apply to your sword and will give a perk to your sword when fighting certain things. So for example, this one here, Hangman Venom. Um, gives 50% attack power versus humans and non-humans. So it's a pretty cool one, and I get 60 charges or 60 bashes of that when I apply it to my sword. So whenever you apply something to the sword, it will show as a little drip icon. So if you see on the right-hand side, I've actually applied an oil to my both my swords, the steel one and the silver one. And you can apply various different um, oils to give different effects. So if you're fighting, for example, a... Doo -doo -doo -doo, is a necrophage then you want to apply that oil if you're fighting a human that oil so you know that's why you need to gradually build up your version of oils over time potions work on Geralt himself um, and they do a big variety of different things there are in the potions section you'll find decoctions and you'll also find potions I think they're called potions anyway are they? yeah um, and decoctions Sorry, no, they're, they're, they're classed as potions as well. But decoctions tend to do a very specific effect. So, for example, what's this one? Damage dealt to foes, regenerate vitality. And these ones are basically f uh, mostly found when you fight or, or discovered when you fight a certain type of beastie. Um, and then you can create the potion, you know, based on those. The, the decoctions tend to take up a lot of toxicity. So you can, you can generally only have one per fight, as it were. And then you have potions down here, um, which are less toxic, depending on what potion it is. Um, and the most important one of which you want to start brewing as soon as you can are the healing ones. So there's a swallow potion, which uh, helps to heal you. So I've got superior swallow here, which you build up over time. Um, and superior thunderbolt is another good one, which increases your attack power. And I have those always in my quick slots over here um, so I can quickly access them whether I'm battling or just moving around. Uh, the other ones you've got are bombs which are ranged weapons and they do different things. So you can see this one adds 400 fire damage over 30 seconds. Um, this one silver splinters that permanently prevent monsters from transforming. So they're all ones that you can f uh, build up over time and the way that you craft these is in alchemy um, and there's several sections in alchemy and if we had if i hadn't formed all of those they would show here as well so potions you can see i've got one potion left to form which is this petri's filter which i've still not got around to sorting out and the way you form a potion is you need to find all of these components over here and if they show as green it means i've got that component and if it shows as red i'm not quite there so i've got three out of four buckthorn required for this uh, and i haven't got rubido um, some uh, substances that you require, so for example the Rubido, I have um, 
an ability to do it here if I had that green mold. So once I find green mold, I could make the re rubido and then I could almost make my potion. I was still missing a buckthorn. So how the heck do you find all of this stuff? So um, all these different formulas and stuff you can find throughout the game. I think some you can buy from um, various merchants and then some I think you find as you go around the game um, in chests and on characters and stuff like that. Um, but d depending on the parts will depend on where you get them. So um, certain things like cherry cordial you may find from an innkeeper. Um, certain uh, things you require for potions you can either find by running around and I'm going to show you a couple of locations where we do that in a minute um, or by seeing a herbologist I think they're called a herbologist so we're just going to find one of those just so you can see them in the game and then once you have all the bits you hit A and you can craft that item okay so what are we looking at to find stuff well, if I come out of here can you see on the top right there's a little green sign and you'll see these dotted around all over the place as you play the game and that's basically a hint that there's some form of herb or ingredient rather um, that you can collect so if I go up to it you can see it says it's Nostrix and I can gather that ingredient and take it now those ingredients show up in the alchemy page but you'll also find them in your inventory I think I might be telling porkies there let me just check I think they're in here anyway Yes, over here on the left hand side I can see all of my alchemy stuff. Now the alchemy stuff, you may as well collect it because nothing holds any weight whatsoever so there's no downside of collecting this stuff. So just as whenever you see stuff just collect it. Um, and you can always sell some of this stuff, some of it's worth a reasonable bit of money. Like you can see this water essence is worth a bit of money. Um, so yeah, worth looking at. So that's one way of finding stuff, just run around and look for the green icons. The other one you want to look for is uh, let's have a look at map. See if there is one in this zone that I'm in. Du, 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 du. Let me know there isn't. There we go. This one here is a herbalist, um, and if we we can go off over there, and that's a shop where you can buy the ingredients as well. So I will quickly travel there just to show you that just before we finish up, and just show you how that works. Um, just bump here and I'll just travel off to this guy here so you'll find these guys dotted around the place now it's worth checking out multiple herbologists because not every one of these will have uh, the herb that you need or the ingredient that you need so you may need to visit several of them to find what exactly what you need um, so we see this little guy here so I'll talk to him and yeah we'll skip that um, some, like this little guy, will tell you about a master formula uh, guy, which is in another area. Um, so if we have a quick look at what he's got in here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can see he's got a variety of ingredients. And basically what you want to do is flick between um, your alchemy page and have a look at what you want to actually make. Um, so remember I was missing something for Rubido, wasn't I? So if I have a look at my Rubido what was I missing green mold so I could have a look and see if he's got that weird looking stuff let's have a look yes look at that there you go over there so we'll grab that I'll have one of those and lots of the stuff can be relatively cheap some stuff can be damn expensive as well it just depends on it they're also a place where you can sell any spare alchemy stuff that you've got um, so now I've got the component of that I can go back in here and I will hit A to craft it and that makes the Rubido and then if we go off to is it the Petri filter I'm now missing white gold and buckthorn because I use the white gold to make the other thing I can make the white gold because I've got enough components so I'll make that again there we go and then I'm still missing this damn buckthorn Let's see if he's got it don't think he has, does he? Doesn't look. Oh, is that it? Let's have a look. That might be it. No, that's more the arrow. No, he hasn't got it. How annoying. So sometimes you'll find, like in that case, it's not that, is it? 
uh, blood loss um that you can't do a particular form and particularly as you go through further through the game you may find that a certain region you know if it's a a higher up uh, potion you may need to go to a particular region to find somebody who's got it or you may need just need to search around if you're really stuck for something have a look online and search for where to find for example buckthorn and you may get a location somewhere um, telling you about it but that in a nutshell is how alchemy works um i suppose one last thing i want to talk about very quickly just before we finish up is what are the most important things to to use or to have let's just come out of here come on come on come on come on Um, in the inventory the ones that I use a lot are the uh, healing potion like I mentioned um, the oils I use quite a lot of the oils particularly on harder characters and then the most important other potions I find are there's one called this one here white raffid's decoction which um, restores vitality and you can do several versions this superior does 100% vitality but the cool thing with that is if you're in a battle you can apply it and it will give you an immediate uh, boost of your vitality back up it saved me a lot of times uh, cat's quite useful for seeing in the dark um, so when you're in a pitch black cave something like that I like that one and the other one I like is white honey which clears toxicity so if I've used lots of potions that one wipes them out cancels any active potion effects as well but and now it basically enables me to do um, some more stuff and you'll find other ones like for example black blood is quite useful against vampires later on so have a good look at the, the potions not everyone is needed i've very rarely used decoctions um you know myself maybe some other people find them really useful but i suppose you know it's horses for courses some people use them some people won't I don't tend to use bombs that much unless it's a particularly powerful character that's awkward to get close to. Um, but some of them are good, like the Dimertium bombs uh, can be useful against certain characters, for example, like um, well, the Elementals or something. And oils, uh, again, applying the right oil against a particular type of beastie is useful. So how do you know what to apply to what to get the right perk? If you go back through your menu... Um, go to your glossary your beastary here this tells you what something is vulnerable against so if we were fighting something quite beasty like say I hate these things arch spores I can see they're vulnerable against cursed oil ard and igni so that's what I want to focus on so I could apply that cursed oil when I'm fighting an arch spore and that's going to help me so that's worth looking at so combining the beastary with um your knowledge of your potions and stuff to give just to give you a helping hand one last thing about alchemy is you can also get um give it some perks where am i on the character page which i don't tend to do i didn't really need to in the main game but just to show you where is it character in the character page there is a alchemy section if you really get into your alchemy there's different perks you can use your um, character points on to do different stuff. So, for example, 5% um, uh, against attacks from monster type, the oil targets. So, you know, just stuff like that. Um, if you want to get, you know, the, the nice thing with Witcher is you can play it multiple ways. You can power up your character however you see fit. I've focused a lot of mine in signs. But if you really want to be an alchemy whiz, you could focus some of your points or lots of your points in here. Play a different way. Hopefully that was useful to you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Let me know of any other, any other things you want to know about. Thanks for watching.